Nacho, Nacho Man, I want to be a Nacho Man. That's right, I'm going to be a Nacho Man and I'm going to show you guys how to make the best taste of nachos you've ever had in your life. Now if you're looking for that nacho recipe that's just, you know, store-bought corn chips with chili on it and some kind of cheese queso sauce, this ain't that recipe. This is a homemade recipe that I served at my restaurant that's absolutely kick-ass. So let me show you exactly how I put this together and I think you folks are going to like it. Alright, the first step to making some really good nachos is you gotta not use a bag of store-bought tortilla chips. You gotta make them fresh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a package of corn tortillas, cut them that way, cut them that way, and cut them that way. And we're gonna put them into this hot oil a few at a time, and we're gonna make us up some corn chips. These will fry right up faster and crispier and fresher than anything you can buy in any store. And I use this wok because I like it. And I fry a lot of stuff in it and it works me well. Get these things out like cards if you want. I'm going to get them all in there. I want to get them in there quick. Fry them up. That they're nice and crispy. So we'll be back after our corn chips, homemade corn chips, are finished. You know, sometimes with the ball chef, you get an added advantage. You've just learned out how to make homemade tortilla chips for cheap, half the price of what you buy them in the store. And all you need to do is take these things out. We'll spider these right out of the oil. Set them onto a paper towel. If you want to serve these with some salsa, all you need to do is salt them and you've got great, fresh, hot tortilla chips that you can just serve up with some salsa if you wanted to. But, like I said earlier, we're making nachos tonight. And, uh, this is the first step. You could use those store-bought chips. They're just not going to come out the same, and I'll show you why. I've just spidered these off, come out of this hot oil. I'll take one of these things and I'll bite into it. Nice and crispy, folks. Nice and crispy, and that's what you want for your nachos. You don't want soggy. Everything's got to be crispy. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can make nachos. You can make chicken nachos. You can make cheese nachos. But for me, the only way to make real nachos is with ground beef. And I'm going to put about a pound of ground beef in this fry pan. And I'm going to season it up real simple. Just to bring out some of that Southwest flavor, I'm going to hit some of this with some Chipotle chili powder. About a tablespoon and a half will do. And to that, we're not going to put any salt, but we will tease it up with a little bit of cumin. Never go wrong with cumin. Brown this ground beef off. Be back. All right, folks, we got this ground beef done here, man. It's 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 fried off. We'll throw a tease of uh, some sea salt in there. And if you guys have the fortunate opportunity to watch my refried bean recipe, this is where this stuff comes in to play. Because I'm going to put in not one, not two, but three heaping spoonfuls of this refried bean mixture that I prepared on my previous video. And we're going to cook this down with this chipotle seasoned ground beef into a very dry mixture here. This is not chili. This isn't going to make these chips all soggy. I spent all that time making them crispy. Why well, am I going to pour chili all over them? So we're going to cook this off here for a second. Get all these infusions done with the ground beef and the beans. And we're going to come back 
and I'm going to assemble my nacho. As you can see, I've got my tortillas all lined up on a baking sheet here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to put some jalapeno peppers. In a perfect world, they'd be fresh jalapeno peppers, but your guests may not like that kind of spice, so I'm using pickled jalapeno peppers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pickled jalapeno pepper on every single one of these corn chips. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the details of that. Let me get through this exercise and I will come back and show you the next step. All right, as you can clearly see, I've got a jalapeno on every single one of those corn tortilla chips. So the next step is we're going to ladle on a little bit of this bean and beef dip onto our corn tortilla chips. It's a pretty dry mixture. It's not chilly. It's got some flavor to it. I've got my oven broiling up on high and we're going to ladle this on here. I like that bean and beef flavor. Would do. You already go that way. So we've ladled that on there and now the quintessential part of any nacho recipe is cheese. And I'm going to use a plentiful amount of sharp cheddar. You could use a Mexican blend if you chose, but for me these nachos would not be right if I wasn't using cheddar. So we're going to put this cheddar cheese on here and then we're going to pop these into the broiler and we come back we're going to make magic. Alright folks we've just pulled these nachos out of the broiler this cheese is melted down that seasoned ground beef and bean mixture with the jalapenos, cheddar cheese, crisp tortillas these make a perfect nacho right here but these are nacho supreme so we're going to have to kick these up to a new level we're going to put some, one of the things that you want to make sure when you put your salsa on this is that you run your salsa through a strainer because all that juice in that salsa is going to make these chi chips weak, soggy, and that's, you don't want that. You want crisp chips. That's the key to this recipe. And there it is, my friends, Nacho Supreme. If you, in fact, decide to use this recipe, you will become a god among men because these things are that good. These are absolutely delicious. I've dressed these up with a little bit of avocado, some tomato, some angel hair lettuce, shredded lettuce, so I call it, and some salsa that I've drained off. I'm going to take a bite of these. Still crisp. Very, very important. Absolutely stunning. If you want to do some nachos with ball games ahead of us, football season, parties, anything like that, coming up with the holiday season, this is the perfect appetizer that really hits the spot. It'll make you look like a superstar. Thanks for watching my video. It's Glenn the Ball Chef. Join me on G+. Subscribe. Like if you like what you see. If you don't like what you see, tell me why. I'd like to know. Anyway. Thanks again for watching, and as always, bon appétit.